Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. We finally got all the indoor plants or the plants that we had indoor indoors. <laughs> uh, we finally brought them all out here because I got all the other ones, you know, planted that I had over in this area. So there's all kinds of stuff out here. They're looking a little rough, you know, from being in all winter, but um, they will come around. I guarantee you that. They'll look a lot better before it's over with. Give them a little TLC. Today's uh, Saturday, May 15th. Currently it's 52 degrees. High today is 71. No rain chance. 71% humidity. It says winds are at three mile per hour. I don't see much at all. Uh, excuse me, hiccups. Air quality is good at 28 because it rained. That rain does it every time. It's like a filter. Cleans up the air. Alright, let's check everything. You can see all the plants here. See all these? You could make new plants if you want out of these. You see the little roots are trying to form there and everything. There's a bunch of them on there. They're all over. Well, here's a Christmas cactus in there. It's looking good. Look at that. It's looking real good. This poor old fern. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to get all the dead stuff out of it. We'll see if it makes it. Last year it looked this bad too, and then it looked real good. And then it didn't do that good indoors. For some reason. Ferns are kind of finicky. Anyway, we'll get it all squared away here. This plant here, it really needs cut back. It needs, it needs prune some. But um, this one is is the plant that's growing on my grandmother's, one of my grandmother's uh, Gray's mom's mom. And uh, we got a cutting of it. We call it the Meemaw plant. And we've had it for years. It's already looking better than it did yesterday when I put it out. Got a bunch of dead leaves in here. Mom cuts hers way back. That's probably what I should do with this. Let's cut it all the way down. It'll grow new, new uh, leaves and stuff. Somebody's cooking breakfast. I can smell bacon. And I know it's not Joy because she's in the living room. Okay, the lettuce is looking pretty good. This little tomato. I gave everybody a little dose of miracle Grow yesterday. wonder why this one's growing so much better than this one. They're both the same potatoes and everything. I don't understand that, but uh, those have never sprouted. I'll probably put some other potatoes or something else in that one. Yeah, I thought maybe uh, give them a shot of miracle Grow. I just mixed the, I've got these little packages that make it a lot easier. As a matter of fact, I'll show you real quick. These make it so much easier. I don't have to measure it out. Singles. There's one is for one gallon. So easy. Yeah, I just, you know, just mix it up in a gallon jug. But I thought maybe it would help those two there that are not very green. I'm trying to give them a chance, you know, see if they'll do something. 
things start looking better. Of course, we got tomatoes already. There's one. That one looks good right there. It's hard to see them a little. There's some more over here on this side. I already got four or five tomatoes going. Yeah, I thought maybe the Miracle Girl might do something for those two. We'll see. Of course, the ones I grew are doing great. Really good. Really good. I'm really pleased with them. And I see more green beans coming up. There's one right there. There's those. There's one. about all I see of them so far once they pop out though they really start growing fast in most cases I've yet to see any of these rows here yet come out I don't know how long they I probably need to look on the package and see how long it takes for them to germinate so I can get an idea of how they're doing see the snow peas coming up right there right there there's some over there so they're starting I really don't see any of the onions yet though I'll probably need to water some today at least the seeds see any cucumber yet I'm trying to feel this to make sure it's still it's still moist I don't know like I said you want to keep your seeds all moist nothing's got in here none of the squirrels have got in here since I put these forks this is like my little experiment on this because this is the one they they were digging in the most this one here um, like I said they don't like digging in here as much because it's harder ground. The soil's harder. You can just reach down in this and grab it all as soft as I don't know what. Peppers are looking pretty good. This and I don't know what's up with that. It's not really happy. We'll see. It'll come out of it. We got some blooms on three of these. There you see. Cucumbers look okay. I don't see any any uh, germinating yet though. These eggplants look real good here. I got good ones last year from Evergreen. That's why I wanted to have a few of them anyway. But some of these, these are the smaller ones I got from them. They look okay. These are the ones I grew. They're, they're small. Uh, just like the peppers next year, I'm going to start the eggplants a lot earlier. <laughs> a lot earlier than the tomatoes. Because they didn't have time really to get, to get that big. But it's all a learning process, you know. You learn uh, from your mistakes. You learn from the things you try. I'm surprised no zucchinis come up yet. Usually they're pretty, pretty aggressive. I filled the feeders yesterday, cleaned them, cleaned that pole. That pole used to be white. That's why it's, that looks like white stuff on it. That's not bird poop or anything. That pole's clean. I cleaned it off with the disinfectant wipes. Yeah, it used to be white and I painted it black. Spray paint. Hi, everyone. These are coming along pretty good. This one here, there's another one right there. Not for sure what they are. I 
Looking good. I love these blossoms here. Little plants are getting a little bigger and bigger. Yeah, this one's getting real full. That one's nice. I'd say we're doing pretty good. Everyone. This one's a little droopy. It'll be okay. Droopy, you know, lots of times, you know, it could be droopy because it needs water, but these don't need water, it just rain. It may be just the sun hitting on it. See what's out going on at the stumps. What has he got going over there? Weed eater. No leaf blower. Well, you can see those darn ants. See what I mean? I need some marigolds to grow out here. I'm going to put some more out here. Seeds in case they're not. I did plant some already, so it should come up. Uh, that's what they do. Those ants, they cut them. There's one cornflower messed up now. Yeah, they do that. I'll start taking some of these off when they're dead and putting them down here. So it'll grow more. It's a little droopy this morning, but it should have enough water. I mean, it should have. It's still damp over here, so I don't know what the deal. Maybe it's because it was cooler out this morning. They're droopy. Uh, it's kind of growing slow there. I might ought to give them some miracle grow in a few days. Because they hadn't had any. Wow, everything's looking great out here, y'all. Wait till all these here bloom like this. They're going to look great. There's a bug in there. Wait, these are slowly going to bloom all the way to the top. There's a few growing right here, not like I'd like for them to be. Maybe it's they're not getting as much sun because of all this stuff around them. I don't know. There's a few things coming up, but I put a lot of seeds in here. So I don't know. They're getting crowded maybe a little here. They're fighting for the light. These are nice. Do the same here. These dead ones. There's more 
seeds. There's another one. I saw another one. That one's about ready. There we go. Some seeds go down in there. Grow some more of them. All right, I think that's about it for here. Gotta keep. Still not quite time to mow yet. Oh, by the way, we're out of our uh, gas stations. All of them here are out of gas. Mm, they had, I'm not sure about the details of everything because I don't watch a lot of news really, to be honest with you. I watch some. But, uh, something about Russia hacked five, five, something like five states, something about the deliveries of uh, fuel. See, Russia's, I mean, if they did something like that, they're trying to do, see what they could do to mess things up if they ever need to, which sure has around here. People hoarded it. They've got pictures of people filling up plastic bags with gas and putting them in their trunk. I saw a picture of a whole trunk full of plastic bags that were full of uh, gas. You know, that's crazy. How could you even use that like that? I mean, and besides, it looks like it, the gas would uh, eat up that bag. You know. So, they shouldn't allow stuff like that. But, I mean, I remember that one day that we lined up over at Kroger. And, uh, I guess we should have sat there for hours to get some gas. There's another little. What are you doing out here? Come back here to the garden. So, it's warm. Anyway, it got crazy. But we had enough gas at that time, but we didn't think about our gas for the mower. And I don't think there's hardly any in it. Uh, so, I don't know. We're gonna probably probably run out of gas for the mower for sure until I get it straightened out. There you go. Here's your nice place. Well, I think I'm gonna go in here. So it's crazy. Yeah, I missed the details. Mom, my mom was talking something about it. But that's crazy. We really mess things up around here, that's for sure. You know, things don't go if you didn't have gas. Can you imagine how many things, you know, transportation, what that would do to it? Okay. I should be able to do an Ask My Tablet today. I got more questions yesterday that I haven't got a chance to write down yet, but I have them. And I know we'll have plenty enough. So, <clears throat> I don't know what Joy has planned to do today. We had not really talked about it. Um, what is today? Saturday. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to just see. I should be able to do one, though. Um, the thumbnail, we decided to have that lasagna we got from Grocery Outlet. It's Classico, and it was spinach and ricotta or something like that. And um, it was $4.99. I'll tell you what, that stuff's great. It was really, really good. So that's what we, we decided to have that over the, the ravioli we got. See, I didn't see that ad for grocery out until after we'd already been to uh, Kroger and got the uh, 
ravioli. Well, we'll have that one day, though, we, you know, next time or something. But I bought two of those lasagnas. If I'd have had room, I'd have got more because I don't know what they would sell for in the, who knows, probably eight bucks or something. But four ninety nine was a great price. And then tonight, also, if you saw in the grocery outlet haul, the chicken breast and gravy, the Hormel chicken breast and, and gravy, we're going to have that tonight. And we're going to have, uh, we got some, a thing of mac and cheese from Kroger brand that we've had before. It's really good. I actually like the Aldi one a little bit better, but um, it's really good. And we're going to have the asparagus we got at Kroger the other day that Kitty was after in my video. <laughs> she, I'll tell you what, she loves asparagus. I got a picture of her somewhere uh, where she, we had a pack, we bought a package of asparagus and it was covered in plastic film you know with the tray and uh, she tore that thing open was in there just a ch chewing away at them <laughs> when i caught her and i took a picture of her <laughs> it was funny she looked up like what you know <laughs> oh, so we're gonna have asparagus with it tonight probably steam it that's what we usually do and uh might put some kind of seasonings or something on it different this time I don't know and uh, so that brings me to the question of the day and I'm talking about asparagus how about do you like asparagus you know some people have never even tried it uh, it has to me it has a great flavor the uh, only thing I could see people might not would like is the texture of it when it's you know steamed I guess you could fix it another way but it's always kind of mushy you know uh, but it's still good. The, the stalk things are not as mushy as the top. But it's just got a good flavor to it. I don't know. Uh, but I was curious as to what everybody thought about it. Or if you've ever even tried it. If you haven't tried it, I would suggest it when you see it on sale somewhere. Because it can be rather expensive. And uh, I've never tried to grow it before. But I, I've seen people have. And uh, I, I don't know. It seems like it takes a long time though. Uh, it takes, I forget what the deal was. It has to like grow for a year or something before it starts out producing, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. If y'all have grown any, let me know. Um, so, what? Okay, let's get to today's tidbits before I run my mouth for too long. I don't know, have I not turned this on yet? see what happens come on wake up get my glasses on all right let's get going what happened stupid thing it went dark I don't know what it's doing. That's why I try to start it before I come out here and get it, whatever it's gonna do, update or whatever. The enormous Rivetano sinkhole in Italy on today's tidbits. The Rivetano sinkhole in central Italy, Italy is one of the largest and important karst formations in the central Apennines. This 250 meter wide and 150 meter deep sinkhole was formed when a limestone roof over an underground cavern collapsed due to erosion. The sinkhole has thick green vegetation as it, at its base. The Great Dark Spot of Neptune. The Great Dark Spot is a 4,600 mile wide massive storm that moves across Neptune's northern atmosphere. The winds in this storm have been measured to reach up to 1,500 miles per hour. Strangely, the moving storm reversed its directions and saved itself from destruction before reaching the south area where such storms usually get disintegrated. Factors that determine severe weather in Colorado. The landscape and elevation are key factors in storm formation in Colorado. 
making it a unique place to forecast severe weather. Due to the state's high elevation, the freezing point of the atmosphere is low, allowing hail to form even during weak thunderstorms. The state's dynamic terrain manipulates air by moving it up or down based on wind direction. Kind of like the mountains around here shift things around sometimes. We don't get the bad weather that we're supposed to. Wonder Cave, nature's nicely decorated cave. The 2.2 million year old natural limestone Wonder Cave in Gauteng, South Africa is the third largest cave chamber in the country. Its single chamber has an area of 46,000 square meters. It is called one of the most nicely decorated caves in South Africa due to the beauty of the magnificent dripstone calcite formations. What is a biome? Pretty. A biome is a large geographical area of distinctive plant and animal groups adapted to that particular environment. Most terrestrial biomes are defined by the dominant plant life determining by, determined by the climate in a region. The five major types of biomes are aquatic, aquatic, grassland, forest, desert, and tundra. Who are hurricane hunters? Hurricane hunters are air crews that fly to the center of tropical cyclones and winter storms to gather weather data. They stay busy all year round and collect data used for both real-time analysis and weather models. The hurricane hunters use the same number of crew members and equipment for all their missions. Can you imagine flying into a storm? Man, what are tectonic plates? A tectonic plate is a massive, irregularly shaped slab of solid rock. Plate tectonics is the theory that Earth's outer shell is divided into tectonic plates that glide over Earth's mantle, the rocky inner layer above the Earth's core. Plate size can vary greatly with the Pacific and Antarctic plates being the biggest. Largest, it says, I mean. The different types of pressure systems. High pressure systems create warm and dry conditions, while low pressure systems are the reason for thunderstorms and winter storms. Low pressure systems have warm, cold, stationary, and occluded fronts associated with them. A front is created when warm and cold air masses push against each other. How hot is the Frying Pan Lake? Frying Pan Lake in New Zealand is the world's biggest hot springs located in Wamangu volcanic rift valley in the echo crater it's a dis acetic water has a t temperature of about 122 to 140 the lake is fed by several acid springs causing it to remain dangerously hot with an average temperature of 113 to 131 f and lastly see mercury mars venus along the crescent moon today Stargazers can see Mercury below a crescent moon easily today, just above the western horizon after sunset. Today's the best night to see Mercury in its current April through June apparition. However, it will sink quickly. Mars will be just to the upper left of the moon and be much higher above the horizon today. Venus will be positioned below Mercury. Wow, isn't that crazy? Well, that's going to be it for today's tidbits, and that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with someone today, please. Share it out. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you later on. God bless.